Planet Sewers. Welcome back to the Houston Zoo. This one's a little short one. I did the proboscis monkey. I'm not sure how you say that. Proboscis monkey? Anyway, um, I'm not sure what monkey really is here. I deleted the note um, of what it was, but they didn't have a water feature like I thought they did. It looked like they did at first. There's only two views into this habitat and they're not real close up. So I just kind of did my own thing for this build. Um, I put in the viewing area I could see from one spot of Google Earth. And then I put in the uh, rock work and just kind of went from there. Um, over on the pathways there for the Wortham uh, Primate Walk, they did have kind of a building back there. And then there's multiple other habitats, but we're going to have just one big habitat for another monkey that's already in place just waiting for me to build the habitat out so I just kind of copied these uh, trees around and once I put the monkey in realized that that particular tree in that group uh, did not uh, make them happy so we're gonna take it out and we're gonna replace it with the weeping willow and just put that around uh, their habitat and then we're going to do that same grouping along the background and I went ahead and kind of closed off the viewpoints as much as I could. I didn't really want guests to stop and look. Uh, they still do. Um, I may have to go back and put in something that's you know not see-through so that they'll stop looking through that area and just copied the trees along the back side of this habitat, checking to see where they can escape. I do need to go do some work on the other side of the zoo so that I can put the zoo back into a quote unquote franchise mode. Um, I do like to try to build these out to where the animals are happy um, in its current state. I can't tell what the requirements are for some of these animals. So I am gonna need to spend some time working in um, one of the guest build habitats to see what I can do in order to get the zoo to go back to being um, you know, kind of franchise mode. Um, that way when I do build things, they are usable either in sandbox or uh, they're usable in the franchise mode if I put them on the workshop. Um, so I'm just copying this around and getting up to the little walk here and I decided we're gonna cover this with this board here. I did go through a couple of options, but this is the one I decided on and then I was like, let me try out some of these different um, railings. I didn't want to build my own custom railing here. I've done a lot of custom work in this zoo and it's already starting to really run slow. And I ended up after testing a couple of different um, railings, I decided to go with this one. And we're just going to cover the path with the uh, board that I've picked out here. Um, so I'm going to make this section um, and create a little, uh, little 4 by 4 and then we will move that over. The arrows were not being friendly with me and they still were not being real friendly. I was trying to get them to where they would you know, go straight, but they really did not want to do that. Uh, with all four of them, they did. Um, I should say, however many that is, but you know, the, the two groups, they, they played a little nicer, so to speak. And then we're going to put this down. So I just copied that around and I have all these circular areas. So we're gonna create in just a moment another little section with this uh, with this wood I've chosen um, to go through these circular areas. At first I tried doing it this way and as you can see the arrows really were not playing nice. Um, I really wanted so I was like, well let me make this uh, you know well, into four pieces. Mm -mm. It still didn't want to play nice. So I took this out and I got the um, mud pillar, the mud column and I let that snap right onto it. That way I could just copy it around and get this nice uh, thing going here. And then I decided, well, let me go ahead and pull this all the way out. Um, and then we'll just rotate and copy the pillar with these on there. And then I went in and just found one group to get rid of that center section. So I could go ahead and fill in these spaces on the outer side um, to create this little guy here. I did blueprint it mostly because uh, I may need to make a bigger one and then that way I've already got it uh, preset and then I'm going to go into here I'm going to get rid of all the mud pillars or a column whatever it is and um, group all those together and then we're going to scoot that right over here. We're going to put a tree in the middle of this eventually and um, next episode we'll finish this out with the pathway uh, and the woodworking here. I just wanted to get the main feel 
uh, for how this was going to look and then I could see okay right here I am gonna need to use that blueprint um, to make it bigger but I went ahead and just left one right there um, and we'll fix it later and right here we're gonna build a little support building I did uh, toy with the idea of moving their entire uh, entrance to over here uh, for this particular habitat um, but I ended up not doing that so they are gonna have just a little bit of uh, shelter here there is a keeper hut I placed inside um, prepping to put in the habitat gate over here um, but then I decided I would just leave it uh, where it was yeah, because they do have um, a keeper hut and stuff over there as well I may still do that we'll see when I go and review for uh, doing the work zone I do need to give this a review and probably redo a couple of those so I started just with some kind of modern wood pieces here um, the little building I saw sitting over here wasn't too intricate but did have some glass on top uh, nothing fancy but you know nothing too new age or too old it was kind of um, maybe like a 90s-esque like late I don't know it, it it almost was dateless but it did have an era if that makes any sense at all anyway moving on so I went ahead and used the uh, opaque glass right here on the edge and just darkened it up um, so that it would have uh, kind of that look that I saw um, from the one view as I was walking through um, the Worthing Primate Walk on Google Earth and so I'm just kind of tucking this building into the ground um, that was kind of what I saw as well as putting some plants around it and I was just like oh, I'm gonna put a big one in here and nope I was like that's just too big so let me do the little one I tried a couple of different spots for it I didn't really like how that uh, worked out right there so I decided I'll stick this over here because originally like I said I was thinking about moving the entrance of the uh, habitat over here um, and then I did struggle with the path a little bit and um, so I went through a couple of different ideas I said, no let me back that up uh, so I ended up just we're gonna go ahead and come straight up in the air so I don't have to worry too much and we'll connect out here and we're gonna create a little entrance off this little walk path um, over to get into this area um, so we'll see next episode if I actually do decide to move the habitat gate over here versus where I have it already um, the other habitat does have its gate in the other building um, that I built a couple episodes ago and then I decided I was gonna go ahead and just do a regular wall um, the game struggled a little bit or I struggled with the game I guess uh, with the grid it for some reason decided to change it a little bit on me I can see the path sticking out right there just a little bit so we're gonna just cover that up with rocks and go ahead and put a few uh, plants through there as well and I wasn't going to do a whole lot of rock work at first I was gonna leave this kind of just all natural with the terrain and the sand and um, as you'll see at the end I did not I went ahead and did a little more than I originally was going to um, I kind of liked my little grouping of uh, bamboo going here and then I felt it was a little too tall so I kind of uh, changed that up as well and we're gonna get that in here um, to cover up that building which is why I wasn't too worried about what it looked like I just wanted to kind of get its shape in there and it also kind of acts as a barrier between these two habitats I went ahead and place the rocks kind of all underneath just in case they can get under there um, as well as to stop the other uh, primate from coming across as well um, and then here comes that rock work I was like I'm not gonna do this and I did it anyway I just could not help myself so we went ahead and put in the rocks on both sides and then I decided let me move this a little further up um, because really as they walk up this initial little ramp you can't see into the habitat it's more of you have to kind of get into each little area to see certain spots um, and it's really wooded so I tried a couple of different trees out here um, Planet Zoo often you know has some great trees where it's like oh this is huge uh, this is even bigger um, 
but I was really looking for kind of some coverage as well. So we're checking those areas um, where the escape marks are and I decided we're gonna do a little moving of the barriers, grab that willow tree and we're gonna fill this in as well. And I decided I'll get rid of that little bit of rock work there. We're gonna add in just some more coverage so that the viewing points are more defined and covered up with the uh, the shrubbery and stuff so filling that in sorry for the sky shot we have um, when an aerial view most of this you can't really see it is really covered with trees so I was trying to find different trees that um, didn't upset this particular animal and also really covered up the ground so that was why I did this from an aerial view and I still need to finish off you know some of their enrichment items so I built this uh, little platform it's still not quite traversable by the staff yet so I'm gonna have to go back and fix that but I've got it in there and it's also not fully supported so just ignore that it's not done um, it's almost done but we're gonna work on that and we're gonna finish off the habitat to the right for next the next episode uh, in two weeks so thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. May the RNG odds be ever in your favor.